What is up guys, Megasonic here with another trailer review. Two videos a day, look at you guys, you're getting a special treat for me because you know my weakness is Dragon Ball and comic book characters. Before we go in depth and explain who Brawly is and what they're deciding to do with Brawly, is it a reboot, it's a remake, is it a sequel, yada yada yada, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to always, so you can always get update on the newest content. I just did a DC Titans trailer review and breakdown, so be sure to check that out on the channel with the link at the end of the video. Now let's get on with this show. So the first thing I want to talk about in the trailer is the little dialogue between Whis and Goku. He explains the simplest question, hey Goku, why do you want to keep getting stronger? He says pretty much after the events of Super, he kind of wants to continue getting stronger, which means this is canon. So for those who are wondering whether or not this was canon or not, or is this true, or is it true Super Saiyan lesbian, who knows? It's right, it's physically there, it's canon. It's a continuation of the Dragon Ball Super anime and movie form. Now, do I believe the anime would break this up the episodes if the toei animation wanted to do it sure why not if they want to add more details to it and the movie kind of be a sort of synopsis version of the whole arc feel free too the one problem is keep the animation good and we won't mind the recap a little bit that's also the fact that it's obvious that taro taro is going to try to do it in the manga because we already get this cool picture right here of broly and goku and vegeta fighting so it's obvious that he's probably most likely going to do it in the manga but then we get into this sort of like scene that's happening parallel to we talking in goku where the space ship is slowly flying into earth then you see a bunch of freezer soldiers and i'm trying to figure out where this takes place it is most likely takes place on earth now i see a lot of people talking about this takes place in this space planet where no it takes place in earth it, it takes place on earth near the glacier area in dragon ball budokai tengai g3 we all know the glacier area that area right there it most likely takes place there let's be honest obviously it makes sense because broly would have to come to earth if he wants to fight goku and it would make sense why they could probably ask frieza frieza probably there to get a rematch with Goku. Probably is like, I'm stronger now. I have a stronger force. I'm going to attack again. And then, you know, gets intercepted by Paragus and everyone and gets smoked. So we see Goku and Vegeta meeting up with Brawly and Paragus at their spaceship. And what interests me is the fact that, you know what? I'm feeling those jackets. Like, can I get one? Like, if you're someone who does anime clothing and stuff on the internet, please tell me if you make this jacket. Send me a link. I will happily pay a price because, you know, Vegeta jacket looks kind of fly. But I'm a sucker for that blue jacket Goku rocking. You know, it'll be nice like north face adidas whoever i don't know Burmington coats whatever you jump on that and like get on that that train because anime clothes is kind of dope at times like i wouldn't mind rocking a naruto track jacket so they're obviously using a new art style in this trailer this is something more closer to the manga so if you ever read the dragon ball manga you know the art style is a little bit less sharp i would say more and more softer features which is fine i guess it doesn't really affect my overall experience with the series i've read the manga and i've watch the anime and i wonder if they're gonna give piccolo four fingers instead of five we'll see but anyway going into the plot we see paragus bring brawly and he sends brawly off now paragus design is very different from his last design his last design was something of like it reminded me of king vegeta with the cape and everything which he probably was imitating at the time now this time he's older looking so he has this weird like sort of like monk cloak drape on with the the freezer armor on and he sends Brawl to go after Vegeta which makes sense and obviously they switch Brawly's like tiara that he had in the first movie to like a collar for mind control which is okay I guess now the one thing I'm scared that this might be retreading is the same move I do not want to see Dragon Ball Z legendary Super Saiyan like I don't want to see legendary Super Saiyan Brawly again I want to see Dragon Ball Super Brawly I want to see something brand new and now I'm like oh always brand new like they're in a different place they're in a different era like yeah they got a strong Bro, like, that's cool and all but i want a different like origin story i want a different everything like make it feel like a, a reboot like they're really trying to change a lot about broly's character to make him more interesting in the public eye and i don't want to see the same shit like oh because king vegeta was scared of of broly so he stabbed broly when broly was a baby etc like i don't want to see that now looking at broly's design yo this is okay bro I love Brawly Zon over his first design. I actually loved his first design with the cloak, and I see they kept certain things, such as Brawly had more of like a sort of emperor style, like shirtless dude who had like the, the necklace, chest necklace. He had the gold boots with the white pants and the red cloth around his body. And then they switched that in for like a green, like fur cloth around his body with more of a Saiyan attire, which means that they're gonna be diving more into the Saiyan culture and people, which we do see later in the trail, which I'm gonna talk about.
out. Look, I have to say this. He starts attacking Vegeta, and then we switch to another scene when he like with him mushing Vegeta and Super Saiyan. So it's showing that his level is pretty damn high. And obviously they say he, he learns as he goes along. So his power is constantly growing, which means that he's a very dangerous for me. Looking at what he does to Frieza is even more crazy. Like he, he literally does the classic chest pump, even that throws Frieza off because Frieza never fought Broly. He never ever did. So then it does clip to Goku versus Broly and Broly's fighting against Goku in Super Saiyan Blue. That's what's really throwing me off. Like Broly's really that powerful. And then as they're fighting, we get the trailer then goes into some clips and some scenes early Saiyan. Now, I don't know where this takes place. This probably takes place during Frieza's destruction and they kind of just probably pretty much retcon Broly whole thing and probably changed it to like, I don't know, like we see Pericus next to this pod with another guy who's another Saiyan who I don't know who this is. Could he be like another Saiyan that was with them and that he died or Broly killed him or etc, 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 whatever. Like, I don't know. And it's just it's insane so one thing one theory that's going around that the same the babies in the same pod are actually like genetically ultra saiyans that they're doing like they're rebirthing the saiyan race and they're changing it and i'm sitting there thinking to myself that like that's absalom that's dragon ball epsilon like it goes back to my theory that kiri toyama and the writers of toy, toy animation are just taking stuff that dragon ball z fans have created and just making it canon with their own twist to it so i don't know if that's plagiarism or if that's just flattery i don't know i don't know how to classify because either way it's like it's still their still their like property but so anyway guys i'll see you guys later uh this is this is my trailer review and breakdown this is based off of my dra dragon ball knowledge as well as i didn't read anything they put out yet so I'm, i just kind of just jumped into this but i will be reading and keeping up to date so if you want to follow me with that please follow our twitter instagram and facebook in the link descriptions down below i see you guys later mega sonic out